Welcome to the Daily App Show, Android Edition. Today we're taking a look at Best Biking Roads, an app for your Android device that allows you to find routes to ride in and around your area or anywhere in the world. So create an account because I'll show you some features in a second that will become useful. You can log into your account right here. You can view bestbikingroads.com right there. You can also go and use your web browser for that. I'm going to tap on Browse Routes. I can view routes that are near me. I can find it near a location. I can also search by text or by area. So near me is going to use your GPS to find any roads near you, any routes that people have created near you. Near a location allows you to actually look for a location and find routes around there. So maybe you're planning a trip uh, and it's not where you're currently located. You can use that feature. We'll tap on near me and it's going to go and browse for nearby routes. So you can see there's quite a few and uh, some of these are um, longer, some of them are shorter. I'm going to tap on this one right here. So this guy, this guy or gal has entered in some pretty decent information here. Um, I have a pretty good synopsis of what to expect on this ride. Um, I chose this one because there is a lot of text here that this person's entered. Um, there's also some ratings here that the user has entered as well that are going to help us better determine whether or not this is going to be a good ride for us. Um, hazard, police presence, uh, visibility, scenery, you know, what, what's important to you. Um, you can use those ratings to help determine that. Uh, now we can also go to show on map and we can see what this route looks like on the map. And it um, looks like it's a, a lot of corners, a lot of turning, windy roads all the way, which makes for a fun ride if you ask me. So I'll hit the back arrow and I could post a comment. So after I've completed this ride and I wanted to share my thoughts, I could post a comment and share that with others. Um, this is a neat feature because then it allows you to you know, share your thoughts or even if other riders have done a route, view their thoughts as well so it's not just left up to the person who created uh, the route themselves. Let's tap back. Let's do near a location. So here you can zoom around on the map with, uh, with your fingers and find somewhere on the map and choose that location and then it will find routes in that general vicinity. Depending on your uh, 3G connection or your Wi-Fi connection or how fast your device updates, um, this may take a little bit of time. Sometimes my Droid X here takes a little bit of time. All right, so we've got some routes that are, uh, looks like near the state line near Nevada. Um, so looks like we've got some that are uh, poorly rated, some that are rated pretty well. Let's go ahead and type on this Mount Shasta ride. All right, so a little bit of information, uh, you know, same ratings and all that good stuff. Um, so there's two different ways here, obviously, that you could find routes near you or anywhere that you want. Now, if you have a route that you really like and you want to share it with others, creating that route is really easy. Tap on Create a Route. Um, it's going to go ahead and move you to pretty much where you're currently located. Um, so I can zoom in here with the, with the map, pinch and zoom if your device uh, allows for that. Um, keep in mind, you don't have to start out where you're at. You could just drag the map. See the little target right here? You can drag it around to your start position um, and drop a pin. So for example, if, uh, if this route that I'm you know, planning on sharing, if I typically started right here, I'd hit start, and you see it drops an A point, and then I'd move along my route, and then let's say there's a turning point here, I add a mid, and then I can add a mid here, and then we'll go up the five. add a mid here and then go off the side and add an end here. This is just, you know, for demonstration purposes. So I can hit undo if I made a mistake. I can also trash this entire thing. When I'm done, I'll hit continue. And what this allows me to do now is go in and enter in that title 
that description, um, choose the road types, and those general ratings um, that you saw on uh, those other listings that I just showed you. You know, set the hazard rating, um, police presence rating. And then when I'm done, I just simply hit submit and it's gonna go ahead and submit that out there. And then anybody within that vicinity is gonna be able to see that one as a nearby route. Or of course, uh, anybody searching for that area will find it as well. So what's really neat about this app is that, uh, you know, maybe you're in a new area or you're wanting to explore a new area. Um, and it's always good to have a little bit of insight into what you're heading into before you just kind of go blindly riding somewhere. Um, so there's things that people share in here and as you read through some of these routes people are giving you tips you know stop here the food's great don't stop here uh, for whatever reason um, I mean, they're giving tips and sharing things with you that obviously you'd only be able to figure out um, by trial and error and so that's what an app like this is great for keep in mind this app also is available for the iPhone uh, so if you're on the iPhone or an Android phone you can use this app you can also use uh, all of their content at their website, bestbikingroads.com, so you're not stuck to just using your phone. You can use their website as well. So very cool service indeed. Check out uh, Best Biking Roads in the Android market or in the iTunes App Store or at bestbikingroads.com.